I like how we vibe it. This video is sponsored by our channel sponsor, which is 015. You can find them on 015.co.z for some premium ho web hosting from as little as 45 Rand 90 cents. I mean, 45 90. Think about it. That's not a lot. And you will get some premium domains. And I personally would advise you on getting maybe the Supreme or the Executive Packs because it comes with a lot of benefits and a lot more storage and you can host multiple websites on one package you know and this is since we are talking businesses and growing your businesses you can actually get your business registered by them and there's some benefits you know you can get a name reservation company registration a certificate income tax number and you can even get a free .co.za domain if you pick one of the higher packages. Or you can get a free QuickBooks subscription for three months. For three months. Yo, that's nice. You know, that's really, really nice. And if you want a website there, I can actually develop a website for you at a very affordable rate of starting from 2100 Excluding that, I think. But it's not a lot. Think about it. 2100 Ah, you spend a lot more on other things but yeah and once again executive plans and supreme plans you literally get free domains there for the first year they are literally out here trying to win you guys off anyway let's continue with the video so we are continuing where we left off on the last video so we are currently dealing with the fourth line item which is suppliers and in the last video we added a supplier and well a couple of suppliers and in this video we are going to create purchase orders items to you know billing items and yeah that's what we're going to do in this video and then in the next one we'll do invoices credit notes as well as payments okay so in the last video we added these three suppliers which are Charles Mbele Services, JJ the Consultant, and Lesejo Accounting Services. Seems pretty standard, right? So let's get started. What are we going to do? We're going to do items. So let's go to... I like starting off on get things done. This is... I think it's designed more to generate money. So we're going to, it's not necessarily products. So this is what we're going to do. It's not necessarily products or services. This is a bit different. We're going to actually add it as a chart of account, you know, because it's all, it's almost like cost of goods sold, you know. So we're just going to say see charts of accounts. And then, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to accounting, charts of account, new. You can also go up here, but and do well well we'll come back to that you know there's different ways of different ways of doing it but i'm gonna start here so it's accounting charts of account new um since we are creating an expense um so i'm gonna go to it's a cost of sales so we're creating cost of sales services. Um, the first one that I want to do is cost of sales. It's, um, I'm just going to say other cost of sales. Then it's going to be tax services. Contractors.
I am going to try and make it a sub of something. Um, uh, sales services. This is income, cost of sales, cost of services. You know what? The first thing I'm going to do is before I do this, I'm going to say subcontractors. Subcontractors. And then I'm just going to leave the description like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a primary. So subcontractors as the primary. And then I'm going to say save and new. Then it's going to be the same, except now I'm going to say subcontracting tax services. And then I'm going to make it a sub of um, subcontractors. Um, I'm going to put a default text. And then I'm going to say save a new. Oh, not a valid name account. Must have at least one character that contains. Not a valid account name. Must have at least one character and cannot contain. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna do that and do that. Save a new. So I didn't want those years. I'm gonna do this, and now I'm gonna add accounting. Accounting or bookkeeping. Let me say bookkeeping services this I'm also going to make it a sub and then save menu and then I'm going to make another one um, so I'm gonna make another one and say independent independent review. I'm just gonna say independent review. Independent review. And once again, it's also another subcontracting. So these are normally, um, if you have a, a direct, like you're going to sort of somehow build a client, it's it normally falls under cost of sales. So sort of it's directly linked to your income. You know, you can directly link it. It will give you a clearer picture in terms of your gross profit. So we are done with those three. Okay, now we are here. We've got our charts of accounts. We've added those ones. So that's the easiest way of doing it. Coming here, accounting, charts of account, or you can go up there and click on charts of account. It will bring you here. And then you will say new. So that's us done with our um, charts of accounts, which are technically in this case, products and services and yeah we are going to do purchase orders um there is two ways of doing purchase orders unlike doing them for customers unlike how we were doing things for customers is literally two ways so the first way of doing it is by going to new as usual and then you click on purchase order I'm going to choose, we're going to start with Charles. Um, it's not, there's nothing to ship. So there's literally nothing to ship. Okay. I guess now it wants us to do, I didn't want to do it this way, but it now wants us to do actual products and services. Okay, so we go to the icon at the top 
and products and services. I didn't want to do this, but I guess we'll have to. We'll say new and services. And this one, we're just gonna call it MCP. Oh. Um. I'm actually not gonna add a new service for now. I'm gonna go to income tax. The first, no, let me add, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, let me add. So I'm gonna go to services and this one's gonna be bookkeeping. Services, P triple zero one. Add new accounting and then class it's gonna be for business I'm just gonna throw it under this business um, bookkeeping services we sell it to our customers at say 500 rand per hour um Income is going to be sales, sales services. Yeah, we can leave it as services. Let's say you purchase this from other people. Let's say you subcontracting. That's what I was looking at. Um, bookkeeping services. And then they charge us 450 per hour and then i'm gonna go to subcontracting remember when we added those line up items those charts of accounts so you go to subcontracting and i'm gonna go to bookkeeping services that's the expense account there's a reason why we're adding it there um and then you can even choose the supplier that you want let's say for bookkeeping services i want Let's say was accounting services to be my preferred supplier for this. Regardless, she's like the one. Then I go to for that and then save and close. And then um I am now gonna go to income tax. So we've added our first product. The next product that we are gonna add, we you can go to um, well, you already know how to add a product if you've watched our next video, so I'm not gonna go into detail, into much details. So I'm gonna say new, and then service, once again, um, triple zero one. Mm, I made a mistake with this. It seems to be clashing. So I'm gonna change the SKU, SKU number to five so that it's there's some sort of order here so save a new and then i'm gonna do independent independent review and then i'm gonna go to Three, six, monthly accounting, business, sell it to customers in it as an independent review. Let's say um, I charge 1,500 per hour. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna use standard tax rate. So I'm gonna charge VAT. So I'm gonna say 1,500 per hour. Independent review, let's say they charge me 1,000 rand per hour. And then I'm gonna charge it to, again, I'm gonna select the, this align item to independent review. For you, um, you would literally just put it as whatever you do. So, and then, so let's say for example this cost of sales here subcontractors so if let's say you're into photography and you're a photographer 
um and you you good at shooting pictures but you're not great at um editing pictures or you find that editing pictures takes forever that's what you would do here um you would sort of add a cost of sales as subcontractors and then um you've subcontracted editing of pictures or maybe let's say you've got somebody that does that's got a drone license and you don't have a drone license and it's required and you want to take aerial view pictures or videos you literally add videographer here so that's what it would be so that's that um my preferred supplier for this i'm going to choose charles and Bailey services you don't have to you know but if you've got a supplier that you know you specifically use for this you would pick it from there and then save a new um and yeah income tax i'm gonna edit this service so by clicking here the edit button now um i'm now selling this customer or service from somebody else so actually no I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that yeah that's fine i'm not gonna do anything else i've got the two so that's that and i'm happy with that um yeah now that we've officially added products and services for services that you receive or you subcontract let's get started you're gonna go to new purchase order and like i said i'm gonna ch start with charles charles and then i'm gonna go to services and products i'm gonna go to independent review um i say to charles here's an independent review i've invoiced this client um let's say this purchase order i'm looking to have an independent review um from the looks of things it's, it should take about 10 hours to complete um 10 man hours so and since you are vet registered and yeah you will do that and then um i can write here independent review and then i'm gonna write the name let's say xvk entertainment or i can literally ship to and it will create a a recurring invoice on the other end but i'm not gonna do that um i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna do it like this we didn't need to add these products by the way and there's a reason why i'm saying we didn't need to but i wanted to do it like this to show you something else but anyway um we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna say save and close because we're only creating one purchase order for now save and close okay so the reason why i'm saying we didn't need to but we had to um is so that it makes it a lot easier for you to track and actually um, assign certain products because now you can literally within there you can um, ship you can directly like the information is easily available and you can see which products generate more money for you in the long run you know when you start doing your reporting so it's better to be organized by having these products and services there you know so you don't necessarily need to I will show you in the next purchase order. I'm going to do one more. No, two more. So the first one we did. No, one more. Yeah, one more. So the first one we did was by going to new. The next one we're going to go by going to suppliers. Expenses, suppliers. And then we're going to click on JJ the consultant and then we're going to create a purchase order so as you can see we didn't need to add the products or the item if we um doing it 
sort of allows us to build from here. But we can go to category details if we want to build or create a purchase order via the category service. I'm going to say um, Gonna say legal and professional fees. So I'm gonna say um, business branding amount. I'm gonna say five thousand five hundred out of scope for the vet. The class. I'm gonna just pick businesses because the service we're providing is for a business. So we are now coming to category. And the reason why I said we don't necessarily need to do the line items is because those products and services, because now we're going, you can also do it by coming to category here. So you could literally still pick the service that you wanted to have subcontracted, you know. So if you scroll all the way down, all the way down, mm, you see here they are but I'm choosing professional and legal fees. And yeah, and that's that. So that's JJ. And let me save and close. An account for this transaction. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I came here and save that. Would that work? You see? Okay, so that's not working. Let's see what happens when I do that. Oh. So, sorry about that. That literally, I had to just, it was a stupid thing. So, for those of you who don't know what I did, um, or who didn't see what I did during my trial and error moment, I'm just going to edit this one. Um, I was just gonna edit it. Actually, no, let me show you guys how to edit your purchase orders. So, expenses you'll see under expenses, your purchase they will start piling up even when we start creating others. So, this is the purchase order. So, I just want to edit this purchase order. You can go on the side and say edit, view, or edit. So what I did was, because it was like this when I first started, and JJ is not VAT registered, right? So I had to change it to out of scope here on amounts are out of scope so that I can process it because it wasn't allowing me to process. It was telling me to choose an account, but that's how you resolve that issue. So now we have created two purchase orders. In the next video, we are going to create an invoice um, or a bill or an expense and then also do a credit note and also do a payment. Um, yeah, this video took longer than I expected, um, but we are here. Anyway, um, don't forget to check us out, the Com Clinic ZA on Twitter, the Compliance Clinic on Instagram and the Compliance Clinic on LinkedIn, the Compliance Clinic on YouTube, mcponline.co.za, that's our website. Or you can just drop us an email on connect at mcponline.co.za. Love, peace, and prosperity.